Wait. What do you call it? Recage. So special about the wreckage. Whistle. Guess we got our sneak attack in. Ah, uh, they don't seem to be. Easy. They're probably at the same difficulty as their previous opponents. Wait, 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 wait. Ikai's at level 1. Yeah, she's gonna be incredibly vulnerable for a while. Warren 8. No, Warren 2 8. I doubt it works on a robot. Who knows though? Yeah, Rika is level leveling up uh, at every fight. It'll slow down very quickly though. I sort of want to be thorough in it, investigating this, because the previous side, once we were... Basically, once we hit the bottom of it, it self-destructed, so uh, I don't want to risk losing anything here, so I, I want to explore it before getting further down. Double slash. Enemies don't seem to be that difficult anyway. Uh, guess we don't really have much of an option where to go. We either choose door one or B. Uh, I don't think it matters. Left or right? Not sure why I said it 1 or B. It's an odd way to say it. Okay. I'm thinking of giving Han a weapon. At the same time, he was totally worthless with it. It might be enough to tip the go over some kind of a threshold in certain cases, but I still don't think he will contribute to uh, physical fighting all that much. Usually the line seems to be where you need to go. Well, fuck. C R M C 
see shield. A better shield. No? It's too heavy of a shield for him to use. It's a massive amount of defense. Change this, change the macro. If the son of a bitch is basically not gonna do anything, he might as well at least defend himself. Was there any problem with this side? I mean, I don't think there was any real report technique bull. That'd be the lightning attack. No res reports of monsters. Die mate. That's probably a healing item. Because yeah, mono mate, die mate. I need to test that. It might be especially effective against these type of uh, mechanical opponents. Assuming it actually is what I think it is. Ball, ball, ball. It, it, no, I don't think it is. Sue is bolt. Zun is wind. Ball is. Uh, I think it's an instant death ability. Not sure if it works all that well. It's a good time to test things. Right. Bolt. CRMC knife. No one's using a knife. Uh, we could give Han a weapon. It, it will drastically lower its defense. Ah, by five points we place this. Carbon shield, graphite shield. Uh, we'll see how this works. Uh, 
don't really have a working macro to work with though. Our defense now is good enough. I, I don't think we need two shields to survive. Although these aren't exactly all that uh, powerful attackers anyway. Wait. No, not skill technique. I have no idea what these guys do. No. I suppose the bigger problem we have is we, we don't really have the special abilities that would be would, that would make sense to use. Skill uses are at least as far as I see mostly for boss fights. That's not te technically not really true though. No idea where I'm going. I don't really see any reason to hesitate at this point uh, either. There's no guarantee that we'll hit where we need to be going. And there's certainly no guarantee that we can't uh, continue exploring the rest of the places. I mean, the, the, whatever this is, it's already trash. It's not like it's gonna suddenly self destruct. Hopefully. There are lights flashing. I know what it is. Move over, Chaz. Wow, pretty impressive. It's a pretty hard security code to break, but there. We can now access the main computer's memory. What's this? Look. It says that this is the spaceship that escaped from Parma a thousand years ago. What? Really? But Parma exploded a thousand years ago. Oh, you know about that? Yes, I learned about it at the academy. Parma, the first planet of the Algo solar system, was destroyed in a... I have no idea what that means. In 1284, when the artificial satellite Daira crashed into it. Today, the only vestige of Parma is the asteroid belt. But there were people that were able to escape. According to the records, just before the explosion, some people were able to escape. The spaceship was damaged and became trapped in orbit around Matavia. They floated around in space until all of the humans aboard died. But the computer was able to sustain itself with its self-repairing mechanisms. They all... died? According to the flight chart, the orbit slowly decayed over the last thousand years. The ship finally crashed here. Then... that means all the Parmesians perished. Wait... This is not the only ship that escaped from Parma. It seems that other similar ships were able to escape successfully. 
Most of them landed either in Motavia or their zones, but it looks like some of them went right out of the Algo Solar system. I can't get an accurate number, but it looks like some tens of ships. So they're still continuing their flight somewhere in the universe. Uh, okay. That it. How did this help us? Maybe it doesn't need to, maybe it's just for the information and some extra loot. I, I don't know. I would seem it would seem odd about this type of game. Usually there's a point to it, a very specific point. To it. Maybe it's used later. Although the, it's not difficult enough to be used later, it's right uh, at our current right for our current level of group. Actually, I can see it being used. You just you just would have to reduce the number of people in the group. We have a large group, about as large as you can get. So, but if you had a much smaller group, this might be much more appropriate. Although I don't think so. Some of these are doing one point of damage to some of our guys. So if we have to come back here much later, I, I don't see that changing. It would basically be just totally worthless. Starting to run out of uh, technique points. And armor. Uh, Ten extra armor points. Okay, we have forty-seven, forty-one, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six. So it's a minor equipment upgrade, pretty much. I think I can still hang on for a while, but I think at the same time, if I want to thoroughly investigate this, uh, I'm going to have to escape and come back again. Uh, I just don't have the tech points to uh, maintain my presence here for a long time anymore. What does Zan do? That's a wind attack, right? Anti. I think it's just better if we leave and come back here once we have a full load of technique points. The Rika especially has increased her potential drastically. I think I've basically used up all my options here. Moonshad. Okay, show me what you got. Vision. Earth. Sure. 
devil slash what the fuck is it doing? Yeah, I have no idea what what happened. I think I boosted myself or something. I think we can pretty much heal up once, more or less, then we are then we have to go. Once we start I have to seriously dip into chas as reserves, then we're in trouble. I think the path north is basically the only place I haven't been to, so I'll try to see if I can uh, explore that too. With any luck, we'll basically explore the next fully, we'll teleport out, go and take a rest, and proceed. Right. We ain't going nowhere. That's uh, a No, no, this is the. Yeah, we've explored everything. Or not, but uh, I, I don't know what we would have missed. I'm not sure where we need to go. I'm pretty sure it's the opposite direction though. Infant were. These guys weren't particularly dangerous a long, long time ago, so I doubt they'll be, they're dangerous now. What did we need to go? We need to go to the gigantic castle next to the. What was it? Quicksand uh, area of some sort, maybe. Score press. Right. Looks like a bit more serious con. Highly resistant to physical attacks. Highly vulnerable to medical attacks. Technique Saner. Was some kind of a debuff, wasn't it? No, it's a buff, I think. Yeah, it's a agility buff. What's all this then? Ah, uh, that was the 
home of the hunters. One of the largest cities on the planet. Aido. Hey Alice, you look just as beautiful as usual. Your hair fluttering in the wind. You're one attractive woman. Well, see you later. What was that all about? What a geek. Maybe he's being forced to say those things. Hey, you guys over there. What are you talking about? There are two weapons and armor stores in this town. If you want good quality stuff, you'd better go to the store near the Hunter's Guild. Oh, it's you, Alice. I don't need to tell you all this. I recently moved here from Navia. My wife went to the market and hasn't come back yet. What is she doing? Alright, how big is this town? I've come from Zima to peddle my wares, but look at this town. It's already got a pretty impressive marketplace. I still have to sell the wares I brought. Otherwise, I'll go to. I'll be too embarrassed to go home. Maybe try to contact some local people. See if they're interested in buying. Although you'll probably make a lot less money that way. It usually tends to be. I mean, from producers to people moving the things around, to people in the end selling things to consumers at the store. Portion you get usually tends to grow the closer the consumer you get. The amount of money you'll end up getting with the one who actually made the product getting to the least. At least as far as uh, simple things like maybe farm product, things like that are concerned. That piece of slime who eloped with my daughter. It still makes me mad when I think about him. Seems like the town of Nalia is in some kind of trouble. I wonder if my daughter is doing alright. I'm so worried. Come on, stop sulking. We should invite her over. Anything interesting ever in these houses? Sounds glamorous to live in such a big town, but we do get a lot of undesirable hunter types. What with the guild and all. It's not a very good thing in terms of giving a child an education. And there might be interesting things in the houses if we really put effort into it, but I have no indication of that that's the case, so I feel like I'm wasting time if I basically try to explore every little square there is. And there are a lot of hunters in this town, so it's kind of dangerous, but on the other hand, we're safe if any monsters appear. There are some benefits to having all these hunters here. Ah, Alice. Thank you for giving me that food you cooked the other day. It was all delicious. I'll wash the containers and return them to you. You can cook, Alice? People are so unpredictable. Oh, cut it out. What's the big deal? Because you're a money-hungry monster, that's the big deal. So there's a price, you actually do decent things for free. That's strange. I could have sworn that I put it away in here. Hey, my secret si- Hex, what the heck are you guys doing in here? Don't you have the decency to at least knock? Yes. Secret treasure.
wonder where it is. Is there a secret treasure? Or is it just something they say to get you trying to find it? Mm, it doesn't matter too much. I'm sure we'll be fine, secret treasure or no. Ah, we're finally home. Shall we take it easy for the rest of the day? No. Well, shall we keep going a little longer? I just want to see the inside of the house. Al... 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 Alice's cabinet. What are you stuttering for? It's a special training workout Alice made. It's pretty strenuous. Of course, it's clean since we're washing it all the time. Right. And it's a cabinet that contains Alice's most treasured belongings. Nothing of real interest, but you can uh, rest for free. I don't see why we wouldn't rest if it's free. Okay, let's go shopping first. Uh, is this near the Hunter's Guild? They told me not to shop here. In the middle of the town is a market. Behind it is the Hunter's Guild. It's indeed a big town. Okay, where's the other shop then? The one you don't want to shop in? What's the problem? Our pet dog is missing. We've searched this town from one end to the other. Pains me to see the children so crestfallen. I can't even go looking for him, I'm so afraid. There are monsters roaming outside the town. There is the option of asking for help at the hunter's guild, but would there be a hunter who would go find a dog? Rocky. That's my dog's name. I wonder where he could have gone up to. Well, if we find Rocky, we'll do something or not. The fortune teller named Mito is one of the best. Like last time, she was right on the money about where my husband was stashing his secret savings. So you stole your husband's savings, right? The crystal ball is submitting a strange kind of glow. Oh, it's you, Alice. Thanks for everything the other day. For you, I'll tell you your fortune for free. I... I, I don't seem to be in good shape today. I'm back some other time. We shouldn't be opening other people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dog family. You look suspicious. I'm a hunter, but I haven't been able to find work lately. That's because there's some woman called Alice who's getting all the work. Hey, well, if it isn't Alice, why don't you send some work my way once in a while? But don't talk rubbish. Work is not something that gets sent to you. You have to go out and get it. There's a bar in the Hunter's Guild too, but that's a place where hunters congregate. Regular people are too afraid to go in there. I feel safe here because we don't get too many suspicious looking people. It was really scary last time. A formidable army rushed past Aedo. Ugh, can't go on without a drink. Hmm. <clears throat> There's no one to hear me, even if I cough. Oh, it's lonesome. 
Oh, Alice, what a rare surprise to see you here. If you come here to see me, I welcome you heartily. Maybe I'll have you treat me again next time. What is this? This is the prison. You'd better not get too close. Why not? Guarding a prison is no easy job. It's so boring. Yeah. So who's going to get sent to prison? Usually you don't implement a prison unless it's used for something. Hey Alice, you rotten! Thanks to you, I've ended up here in here. Why are you hanging around the prison? Hey there, how dare you bump into me and pass on without a word. Oh, it's you, Alice. Oh dear, please excuse my rudeness. Okay, these are the shitty places, I guess. <clears throat> you call that a market? There's nothing that would be abused there. So many things catch my eye, but even the best weapon is wasted unless it is used by skilled hands. Yeah, is it any good? Uh, this is all fine, but I'm not sure how this compares to the other shop. It's probably the better one. Struggle Axe Saber Claw I will probably come back here after checking out the other place This would be the Hunter's Guild Alright, it's a large building, very likely so I want to sh uh, take a look at the shitty place first This is the biggest market in all of Notavia. I did I those market is just as impressive as I heard it was. Yeah, leather. Carbon. It's nothing terrible, but it's uh, a little below us, right? I don't expect anything useful here, but I still want to take a look. Ooh, I brought so much stuff, it's hard to carry everything. Yeah, that's why you have a boyfriend. You have them carry that shit around. Tool store. Guy mates. Tool store seems to be okay. There's nothing particularly bad about this. It has the same crap as every place else. It's the inn. Who are you? We traveled all the way here to shop at the market, but we used up all of our money with travel expenses. Actually, we don't have the money to pay for our rooms, but we haven't been able to admit it and have kept on staying. What shall we do? Say, why don't we climb out that window during the night? Right. So, the better shop and the hunter skill is the only thing left. Um, I think we are going to at least get better armor. Ooh, 
do we have this type of sword? I, I wish you could see is it an improvement what you have over what you have. This costs a ton though. I I, I can't afford to buy if we already have it. Okay, you have Titan Slashers. Ceramic knife. Ceramic sword, broad axe, and claw. Ceramic knife is something we don't need unless we start to use shield knife combo for chas. Don't need the ceramic sword. Um, struggle axe. Mm, I'm not yeah, sure. Take it. Saber claws. You need two. We'll probably get something back by selling our current equipment. More attack power, more defense. More attack power. This isn't gonna be worth much, but it's worth a little bit. I'll take it. The shield is quite good, I'm not sure if I should sell that. How good is the shield? It's only usable by a proper warrior. What type of armor are we looking at? Gra graphite. Titan. Carbon or ceramic. Graphite, graphite, titan. Armor made of ceramic, anti-heat but heavy. I wonder if this slows us down. I, I don't know if it matters one bit. that I can see. Uh, serious defense increase with no real downsides. Yeah, says it right. That list is 
might be able to get a couple of hail limits too. Anything else? Ceramic shield? I suppose I could sell some grenades. Ah, uh, whatever. Graphite crown, no. Yeah, we probably should take them. I can take two crowns. I'd rather take a ceramic helm, though. So special about the Hunter's Guild. Zio? I don't know who hired you, but don't even think about it. Then if you had an infinite number of lies, it wouldn't be enough. This town is relatively peaceful thanks to us. I hear that other towns are plagued with disasters. In one case, an entire gown burned to the crown. It's been said this is all Zio's doing. I wonder if it's true. There's a note disposed here. Do not run on the floor. The guild is everybody's guild. Please use it quietly. Hunters with the most cases process. Number one, Alice Brangwin. This is just between you and me. The cave to the north of Aedo leads to the area beyond the hills. No one's who, no one who's ever gone into the cave has come back alive. I wonder what is beyond that cave. Monsters have recently become extremely strong, making combat with them difficult. I'd better think about a new profession pretty soon. Welcome. You have come to the Hunter's Guild where we enrich the lives of hunters. The enrollment area is over there. For those of you who are, those of you hunters who have already joined, I'd like to give you information about available job listings. Currently listed on Whoa. there are actual missions here. The ranch owner. This is a request from a ranch owner in, at the village of Mile. The sandworms at my ranch have become so big that I'm at my wit's end. Please help me. That is the message. The fee offered is 5,000 meseta. Will you take the job? I will take it. In that case, please go to Mile and get more details from the rancher. And we can use the teleportation system. Hey Alice, you're still as attractive as ever. Why don't you go out with me once in a while? Ah, oh, thanks. I'll consider it when you become more of a man. Yeah. There has been a big army going in and out of that cave up north. Must be Zeo's troops that we've been hearing about. My my, Alice is quite the looker. But aren't you a cutie pie too? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Cut it out, you. Hey, Alice. The usual? Ah, uh, sorry. I just don't feel like it today. I'll see you some other time. Dancing girls. Cool. Hmm. 
My, I'm so honored that you're here, Alice. It inspires me to do well. In times like this, those in the hunting profession seem to be doing well. But the monsters have become very strong. Apparently, only the most skilled are still in business. That fact is reflected by how painfully few customers there are. What a big mirror. Must be for industrial use. But... Try me. 1000 Meseta, that we basically robbed them. Uh, I think I'll do the job we got. Leave it at that. And go, basically, prepare to go to the North Cape and encounter a potential army there. If we get the 5,000 Nesita, we should have enough funds to fully upgrade the equipment. We're missing like a couple of uh, minor armor pieces, but they do make a difference. Alright, uh, what was it? Mile, maybe? Are you the hunters from the guild? The sandworms I've raised in this ranch have grown so big the situation is out of hand. But please, can you do something about it? I won't complain whatever the outcome is. Ooh, are you fucking kidding me? A bit larger than I expected. I have no idea what I'm doing. Crash is not gonna work on it. Gross maybe works. Uh, illusion? Holy shit, instant dead. I'm not sure if we can kill it. Uh, we might. Uh, I was worried because Han got one shot it, so that he would basically kill more or less one guy every turn, but he doesn't have that much attack power. I guess he must have gotten lucky or something. Still, there aren't that many things I can do. So, either I just have enough attack power or we're fucked. I'm thinking of focusing on healing with Rika, attack with the rest. Basically tank his attacks as much as I can. No idea how it uh, affects Han's uh, experience points. So you're going to get nothing out of this fight. We're doing it mostly for the money though, so... But I, I don't sense any real problems with this. We're not exactly 
we're not struggling anyway. We can't kill him quickly and efficiently, but we can still hang in there for probably a huge amount of time. Yeah, we have around 20 heals at least that we can cast. So, we're not going anywhere. Still, how much life does this son of a bitch have? Can't you be the healer? You sort of suck at this. Pack power is up. Pretty much doubles the damage. I'm not sure if it doubles it exactly, but it feels like a massive increase. One point of Basically, if we lose anyone at this point, I think we're fucked. Six thousand XP. Han, but we can get shit. Death has been mastered. Zahn. Hair slash. Yeah, this is a problem. Because Han basically missed at least a few level ups, and I, that, I'm not okay with that. Still, he went down very quickly. This defense sucks. Shit. Yeah, the knife isn't really doing much here. Even another try, but I, I think Han basically needs a second shield if he wants to have any chance of surviving something like this. You need to defend, you're so dead otherwise. Han needs to be healed twice. So as long as he attacks anyone else will be more or less fine, but... Ah. Like this. Sheep gives a power boost. Going to heal anyone? To heal Alice, I suppose. Uh, yeah. 
Ooh, got lucky there. But uh, this is no good. The, that Han basically sits through these uh, fights doing nothing. It's much better to just give the fuckers another shield and have them cast something for the fight. He could be a good dedicated healer. Rika at least does a decent amount of damage, so she's more or less comparable to other the other two fighters. Han is uh, just a waste of space used like this. He's not gonna do shit with this little knife, and he won't survive against anything half serious, so it just isn't any good. we can do it probably has around thousand hit points or something like that it's not a massive amount but still it feels like a lot in a play and because we basically don't do shit for damage Oh my god, at least hit me. What exactly does this do? I have no idea. Almost, it looks like he does, uh, she, Alice does something with her weapon, like boosts it or something. Three points of damage. Why the fuck are you all so pitiful? Miss, 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 miss. Actually, I do have a solution to that. That's not a problem. Bros. You just keep healing. We should be very close to killing it. It didn't last all that long last time. I'll play it safe, I won't try anything exotic here. Five thousand. So it does give an X amount of it probably gives around twenty-five thousand. Just gets split between all your characters. So you could technically have a couple of them to be knocked out and just farm experience for your Intended characters. Gires. It's an uh, improved re uh, healing. Uh, I think it goes you have your spell name, then you have uh, GI in front of it at the medium level, then you have NA. So, res, gires, no res. Rimpa. Rimpa is something new. It's either a debuff or a buff. Uh, it's a it's a paralysis cure. 
Zom. Air Slash. And I was finally able to feed those sandworms successfully. The ranch, my dream. Thank you. There's no use lamenting about the past. I should make a clean break and go on to the next thing. I'll send you a compensation to the guild, so please pick it up there. It's probably cheaper to rest here. Uh, it's free to rest. In my own home. Right. Mm, fairly easy overall. I mean, it's not like I can try too many complicated things either, so I, I don't mind using. Let's get the monies first. The minor armor upgrades, and I'm buying another shield for the piece of shit that constantly keeps dying in these situations. He has a lot of tech points, right, so he could afford to cast. He almost has double, or I mean triple, compared to the others. Yep. Good job! Congratulations on dealing with the sand worms so effectively. Please accept our, your commission fee of 5,000 meseta. I'm glad we resolved the problem before anyone got hurt. Too bad for the ranch owner, though. But he seemed like a person who would not be daunted for long. I'm sure he'll prosper again. Anything new? So, there's still seven of these left. Hmm, we can probably afford the equipment upgrade. I don't recall them having any decent weapons that we might want. Uh, I I'm thinking about a knife though, I'm not sure if I should buy it. Uh, the knife thing is not for Han, but for Chaz. We want to use a shield for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure what that reason would be. Maybe we'll have to rely on magic at some point, or just surviving is more important than doing damage? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to extra shields I find or something like that. Or extra knives I find too. I am gonna need a shield. Uh, that's quite expensive. I think I bought a ceramic hill. Okay, what hats do you got, people? Alice has a rapid crown. So I don't think we can get an upgrade for her. Graphite crown. Alice's weapons are terrible, absolutely god awful. So we need a shield that can be used by Han. Shield. It's not that expensive, so it doesn't matter if we have, that we have to buy one. We still have a fairly weak defense value overall. Um, 
he could use uh, sir, something to replace the Syrac liquid. Can I buy something? No. Can't use a crown, can't use a helm. Right, okay. This is good enough. I'll rest then prepare to go to the cave. We did get new abilities. I hate that I can't even look at my own guys. There has to be a way. Right. Alice the Hunter. Where are your abilities? Foy Ship Saner Zan. Vortex Moon Shadow. Uh, she got a death skill last time, so that's about probably about level level thirteen. Yeah, one thousand one hundred thirty-seven uh, experience points. I'll leave things here. We are expected to find the Zeo's castle on the other side, but I doubt they're going to let us get through this game without a fight. 